Our opponents are just blowing hot air because uh, that policy appears to have that policy appears to have taken them by storm, and so their reaction suggests that uh, they are this. Uh, this is not a complicated policy to adopt or implement at all. You see, industries in Europe and many other places operate 24 hours. True. And we are operating eight hours. And we are supposed to produce things and compete with somebody who is utilizing his infrastructure, everything, for 24 hours. Yeah. So there is, from the beginning, a disconnect that makes us uncompetitive. If we just look at the surface like that, you understand. So what we are saying is that the, there is already some infrastructure that is being underutilized mm -hmm. or badly utilized. Mm -hmm. Let's take our uh, energy infrastructure, for instance. You see that Ghana is one place where you have uh, so much variance between a uh, low period of energy consumption and peak period of energy consumption okay. within any day. Mm -hmm. There are times when there is peak period, let's for the purpose of argument, take maybe a scale of zero to 100. There are times you see that energy consumption in some parts of the day may come to 10%. 10, 10 there are other times, peak periods, when you see that the energy consumption has shot up to 90%. So that variation exists in how we consume our electricity. Mm -hmm. Now, if you get into another economy where they are running 24 hour shift, you see that this variation has been evened out. So instead of maybe varying from 10% to 90%, you have a variation of around 50%. Mm. So it may come down to 40, it may go down to 60. Yep. And then that is how the electricity will be consumed. Mm. Now take these two scenarios and see how much it, it costs to fix the infrastructure for electricity distribution. You don't want, you want 24 hour supply of electricity. So you don't want a, a scenario where during the peak period there is overload and your system will shut, shut down. Shut down, yeah. Okay. So in putting, in laying the infrastructure, you must lay, you must lay it in such a way that it can capture the peak period and you will still have no problems. Mm -hmm. So from that standpoint alone, if you are able, as a matter of policy, to encourage some of the consumers to offload their consumption during peak period mm -hmm. to the, the low period of 10, mm -hmm. and you are able to push that one up, yeah. you bring down the peak uh, numbers and then you, you, you better have, uh, you know, better advantages and better utilization yeah. of your facility. Mm. So if you are implementing 24-hour economy and some of the huge energy con consumers like uh, uh, the steel mills that use a lot of electricity, we encourage them to, to be uh, the, the cement uh, factories and other things, we encourage them to be working during the, the off-peak periods, yeah. then they will utilize more of the energy, which otherwise you will not be utilizing. Mm -hmm. So it makes good sense to even reduce the tariffs yeah. for them because it inures to the benefits of the oh, whole economy. Yeah. It inures to the benefits of the, uh, uh, the power sector and so on. Mm. 
So by giving them cheap power, which could have gone waste anyway. Anyway, yeah. You are introducing efficiency into the, the utilization of your energy resources mm -hmm. as well.